Eddie, new details this morning about a deadly police-involved shooting on the MacArthur Causeway. The investigation Saturday tied up beach traffic for hours. Now witnesses are beginning to come forward with what they saw happen. And we should warn you, some of the details are gruesome. Local 10's Carlos Suarez has our update. The Miami Herald is reporting something that a local 10 viewer told us yesterday, that when officers pulled up to the westbound off-ramp of the MacArthur Causeway, they found one man mauling, chewing the face of another. When that officer ordered him to back off, and he did it, they opened fire. The drama unfolded just off the MacArthur Causeway near Biscayne Boulevard Saturday afternoon. A frantic caller dialed 911 saying two men were fighting dangerously close to traffic near the off-ramp. What that fight was about, we have no idea at this point. Minutes later, a Miami police officer pulled up to the scene. He attempted to uh, separate them. Uh, apparently there was uh, some sort of confrontation. And during this confrontation, something occurred that caused the officer to discharge his weapon. The bloodshed unfolded at the height of Memorial Day weekend on a busy stretch of roadway. Pretty hectic, everybody honking, yelling. Drivers sat still in their cars under the sweltering sun for hours. I saw it apparently was about a uh, Maybe a six-foot male that was um, covered up right next to a blue tarp area. And then he had off, proceeded to cover that up as I started to zoom in. On an ugly scene that played out near the heart of holiday weekend across the causeway in Miami Beach. A viewer who claims to have witnessed the shooting wrote on our local 10 website, quote, I stopped the city of Miami police officer and informed him that a homeless man was killing another person by biting and ripping his face to death. The police officer confronted the aggressor, and he was like a rabid dog and confronted the officer. Then the officer shot the person four times. Now, the other man involved in all of this, he remains in the hospital with serious wounds to the face. Miami Fire Rescue tells us that when paramedics arrived at the scene, he was having trouble breathing. The names of the pair have not been released. Reporting in Miami, I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.